Hello and welcome back. So this is essentially the same setup as I had before in creative mode in the sandbox, except there's none of the creative mode stuff because so far in for version 16, uh, this mod has not been updated yet. So I fired this up and all the creative mode stuff had disappeared and I had to do everything by hand, which means I had to actually make some electricity. Very annoying. Um, I wanted some coal, so I had to mine some coal. I wanted some iron ore, so I had to mine some iron ore. It really takes all the fun out of testing out rigs. Anyway, it's going. Um, what I wanted to look at was uh, vanilla smelting um, now that belts don't seem to compress. So in the middle here, we have the naive smelting stack. Uh, it's the stone furnaces with slow inserters. This is pulling in a fully compressed line of ore. Then it gets smelted. And as you go down to the bottom, uh, the last few smelters are having trouble inserting um, onto the belt. And the belt is uh, not fully compressed. You can see gaps and holes here. The other thing uh, you can see is that the um, ore belt is backed up. So we, we're our last, what, one, two, three, four, five, our last four to six smelters aren't actually running on both sides. So that's kind of sad. The old trick was to drop in some underground belts, uh, either on the last two or the last three, and that would allow these to drop into the underground, which would then fill in these little holes on the belt. Doesn't work anymore. So the first thing I did was replace the slow inserters with fast inserters, and this actually does a much better job. We're down to just the last four um, smelters not working. And the belt looks pretty well compressed. By eye, it looks fairly well compressed. But clearly these last four are not running at all. The, the, this pair is running intermittently and the uh, ore is backed up. Okay, so what I did for the third one, um, I could have used fast or slow inserters. I split the stack in half. So the first half of the stack runs, puts it onto the belt. Then I thread the belt sideways on undergrounds and start a new belt. So at the bottom here, we then merge the two half full belts. And you can see that pretty much all of the um, smelters are working when they get ore. The ore is not making it all the way to the bottom. And this is still with a fully compressed incoming ore belt. So we are, um, I think it works out at 23 and a half smelters per half needed to fully smelt an array. So that's kind of right, isn't it? We are fully processing the incoming ore um, and the last ones are taking turns as to which one is being lucky. So we're getting a fully compressed belt out. Um, what's the take home from this? I think the easiest way to bodge old designs so that they're fully compressed is to, to split the line and merge. Um, using faster inserters works better. It's possible that if I'd used stack inserters here, uh, that might have improved things. Uh, but basically we're looking at running an extra belt um, and merging. I think while we're on air, let's uh, just see if we can do this with the slow inserters. Right, so that's, oh, that's one too close. Let's put it there. That's so nice being able to drop the belts on over the top of other belts. Okay, so let's um, just bypass the last few and see if that helps. So these appear to be stuck. There we are. Okay, so let's turn this sideways, put that down there. Okay, so we're nearly filling the belt. This is where it, it starts to get backed up. Um, 
And is this working? Yeah, this appears to be working. All right, so let's um, let's just clear this off. Uh, by the way, I did that by holding the mouse over the belt and pressing F, uh, the normal pickup thing. So I'm not sure this is working quite as well, to be honest, as the half and half belt. Um, it seems like this is backing up and then these aren't really dropping on. But we are now seeing all the furnaces lit up. So I think the take home is um, ideally you uh, split your belt half and half. Um, but as a, a last measure, you can just split the last bit and get a nearly compressed belt. Well, that's all. Just a short one today. Um, I'm sure other people will have other ways of getting belt merging working correctly, uh, which are more elegant than this. Now, this is starting to not work again, isn't it? We've lost one, two, we've lost the last four here. So um, anyway, uh, if you have a better way of achieving full belt compression than running a parallel belt and merging, um, please let me know in the comments or find me in the Factorio group on Facebook. Um, but for now, I think I will just be running a parallel line that has approximately half and half on the two of them emerging. That looks like it is the way forward. Thanks very much. Um, have a great time. Hope to see you soon.